my name is Daniela Adams. My candidate number is 4999 and I play the role of Clea in the play Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. My name is Jordan Lee Yurt. My candidate number is 4069 and I play the role of Colonel Malkett in Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. My name is Lucy Hutchison. My candidate number is 4102. I play the character of Carol Malkett in the play Black, Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. Hello, my name is Mark McBrien. My candidate number is 4131 and I play Brinsley Miller in Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. My name is Nathan MacDonald. My candidate number is 4141. I play Harold Gorns in the play Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. My name is Alison Soy. My candidate number is 7005. I play the role of Miss Furnival in the play Black Comedy by Peter Schaffer. Looks. Fabulous! I wish you could always have it like this. That light looks divine there, and those chairs are just the right colour. I told you I could look well in here. But suppose Harold comes back. He's not coming back till tomorrow morning. I know, but suppose he comes back tonight. What do you think he'll say if he goes into his room and finds out we've stolen them? Don't dramatise. We haven't stolen all of his furniture. Just three chairs, the sofa, the lamp, the table, the bowl, and the base of flowers. That's all. And the butter. That's more valuable than anything. Oh, do stop worrying, darling. I can't. I mean, you don't even know, Harold. I don't think we should have done it. I mean, anyway, Harold or no. Why not, for heaven's sake? The room looks divine now. Just look at it. Darling, George Bamberger is a multi-millionaire. He's lived all his life against this sort of furniture, and half these stone bits aren't going to impress him. If you ask him, it's much better for him to see me as I, as I truly am, a poor artist. Might touch his heart? Mm, it might, but it certainly won't impress Daddy. Remember, he's coming too. As if I could forget. Why you had to invite your monster father here tonight, I, I can't think. Oh, not again! Well, it's too bloody much. If he's going to be convinced that I'm a fit husband, Hugh, just by watching some famous like to buy some of my work, then... Frankly, he doesn't deserve to have me as a son-in-law. He just wants some proof you can earn your own living. And what if Bamberger doesn't like my work? He will, darling. Just stop worrying. I can't. Just get me a whiskey. I've got a full boating. It's, it's all going to be a disaster. An A1 cup of on 24 character disaster. You know what they say, darling. Faint heart never won the early age plays. How true. The trouble with you is you're what Daddy calls a determined defeatist. The more I hear about your daddy, the, the more I hate him. And in any case, I know the military men, and he's bound to hate me. Why? Well, I'm a complete physical coward. He'll smell of my breath. Look, darling, all you have to do is stand up to him. Daddy's only a when he thinks people are afraid of him. Well, I am. You haven't even met him. That doesn't make any difference. Don't be ridiculous. Here. Thanks. Well, what can he do? And to you? Well, for one thing, he can refuse to let me marry you. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I like your hair. Yeah. It brings out your hair. Straighten your tie. You look sloppy. Well, you look divine. <laughs> really? Really, I've never seen you look so lovely. Uh, tell me, Bryn, have there been many before me? Thousands. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Uh, no. What about that girl in the photo? She lasted about three months. When? Two years ago. What was her name? Clea. What was she like? She was a painter. Very honest, very clever, and just about as cosy as a... As a steel razor blade. Why did you still have her picture in your bedroom drawer? I was just there, that's all. Give me a kiss. No one in the world kisses like you. Tell me. Something. Did you find a photo with her or me? Like what? Sexy pet. Look, look, look. look, 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 look. <laughs> Why don't you get a record on? Something for your father. What is he like? Um, he doesn't like anything except military marches. Hmm, I might have guessed. Wait, I think I've got something. Try it. The top record on the pile, the one with the orange cover, is called Marching and Murdering with Sousa, or something. This one? That's it, yes, put it on. How do you switch it on? It's just the last one on the left, yeah. Oh God, let us pray. Okay. Oh God, please let this evening go all right. Let Mr. Bamberger like my work and buy some. Let Carol's monster father like me. And let my neighbour Harold Gorringe never find out that we, um, Borrowed his precious furniture behind his back. Hey, man.
bedroom, in that drawer where you found the photograph. Go look, will you? I don't think there isn't any in there. I didn't see any. Don't argue, just look. Right, keep your hair piece on. Um, 
Where's this young man of yours? In the flat opposite. He's trying to find some candles. You mean he hasn't got any? No, we haven't even got any matches. I see. No organisation. Bad sign. Does he even happen to any of us? Not to me. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> some of Brinsley's work. Is it? By Jove, and how much does that cost? Um, I think he's asking fifty pounds for it. My God! <laughs> Do you like the flat, Daddy? He's furnished it very well, hasn't he? I mean, it's rich, not gaudy things. <laughs> very elegant. Good. I can see he's got excellent taste. Now that's what I understand by a real work of art. You can see what it's meant to be. Good heavens! What is it? Nothing. It's just that Buddha. So closely resembles what Harry Gorich has. Must have cost a pretty penny one. Must be quite well off. Well, <laughs> you know Mr. Gorich. Yes, very well indeed. We are excellent friends. They have such lovely things. <laughs> oh, what? This furniture? Surely. <laughs> My goodness! Oh, Daddy, where did you put it in there? It's Bryn's studio in there. What for? You can. Hang your umbrella in there. Very well, Dumpling. Anything to apply? Excuse me. <laughs> Miss Fenner, you're a sport, aren't you? I don't know. What is this furniture doing in here? Belongs to Howard Gorge. I know. We're just something absolutely frightful. We've stolen all of his best bits and what Brent's horrible bits into his room. But why? It's disgraceful. Because Brent has got nothing. Nothing at all. It's as poor as a church mouse. If he'd seen this place as normally looks, he would have been our marriage on the spot. Um, Mr. Gorringe wasn't here to ask, so we took the chance. If Harold Gorringe knew that anyone had touched his furniture, or his porcelain, he'd go out of his mind. And that's for that Buddha, the most precious piece he owns. It's worth hundreds of pounds. Oh, Miss Furnival, we're desperate. Please don't give us away, and it's only for an hour. Please, oh, please! Oh, very well. <gasps> I went to the train. Thank you. <laughs> but you'll have to get back exactly as it was, just as soon as your father, Mr. Bamberg, and you... Oh, Miss Furnival, you are an angel. Do you have a drink? Uh, no, you don't. Well, um, have a bit of lemon. Thank you. That I won't refuse. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be sculpture. It's not supposed to be. It is. It's just a garden, but I like them, but I think it's all right. <laughs> not very <laughs> funny, Daddy. Sorry, no. Because you're fine. I wish you wouldn't call me Dumpling. Well, there's no point wasting this. We may need it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Miss Furnival. We'll move back any minute with the candles. And then I'll leave, of course. I don't want to be in your way. Oh, no, not sure. Hello? Did you find anything? If there's a candle in that house. I can't find it. Did you get the electric people? They said they'd send someone round uh, later. Well, how much later? What a bloody lookout. A millionaire to show the sculpture to, and your monster father to keep happy. <laughs> Lovely. Good evening. Oh, sir! <laughs> Fancy you being there the, the whole time. I, I'm expecting some, uh, some dreadful neighbours, some uh, neighbour monsters, some uh, monster neighbours. Well, 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 well. Well, well. Well, well. 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 <laughs> you seem to be in a spot. Trouble? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's not the first use I've survived. I'm sure it won't be the last. <laughs> in the meantime, You've got no candles right. Right. No matches right. Right. No basic efficiency right. I wouldn't say that. My basic efficiency, young man, I mean the simple study of bringing X attention in life rather than Annie's understand. <laughs> yes, sir. What do you intend to do about it? I do? Don't! I agree, sir. I don't like it. You don't like it? Sorry. <laughs> Here, young man. This is an emergency. Anyone can see that. No one can see anything. That's the real emergency. <laughs> Bear me your humor, sir. If you don't find that's a good situation objectively, right? Right. Good. Problem, darkness. Solution, light. Oh, very good, sir. Weapons, candles, none. Matches, none. What remains? Search me. Torture, sir. Torture, sir. What? Or a set of early Christians? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing, sir. Torture's brilliant. Routine? Well, where would you find one? The pub. Uh, what time is it? Lost the thing. Uh, quarter to ten. You can make it a right. Thank you, sir. Your clarity of mind has saved the day. Well, hurry up, man. Yes, sir. Good luck, darling. Oh, thank you, my sweet. Mwah. Stop that at once. Who's <laughs> in there? Harold Brimsley. <laughs> it's Harold. He's found. Oh, no! The furniture. Oh, 
here then? Uh, nothing, uh, uh, the maids have gone out. It's not for the house. Thank you. Yes, just get over here. Hey, it was really like, yeah. for the dog, didn't it? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. Weekend, some weekend, it's right there, bloody time. I'm damned to my panties. <laughs> now then, why don't you sit down and tell us all about it? Us? And who's here then? I am Mr. Goring. And you're Fanny! Taking refuge, I'm afraid. You know how it's been with a job. Last thing. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Colonel Melkett, may I present my neighbor, Harold Gorringe. Harold Gorringe, Colonel Melkett. How do you do? <laughs> How do you do? Uh, and, um, this is Miss Carol Milk and Barbara Orange. You've got no candles, I suppose. Oh, to keep it sober. I don't have to see me. What the devil did you do that for? Nothing, Colonel. I'm sending you away. It's very fast and you may need it later. Oh, look, I have some matches. Some... Matches? Yes, sir. Here they are somewhere. Yes, yeah, <laughs> What's that? A draft! What? A draft! You know, cross currents here. Old houses are full of them, you know. No naked thing can stay alive, but the cross currents in the houses, you know. I don't, I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> no, look here, what's up with you? Nothing! You've got a good body in here or something? No! when you call up the electricity company. In other houses like this one, the fuse, uh, the fuse meter and the gas meter are on the same cupboard, so the electrical blowouts are famous for damaging the gas supply, so it's fantastically dangerous to burn a naked flame in this room. <laughs> I've never heard of that. Friends, as I right, uh, they warned me about it this evening when I phoned them. They said, whatever you do, don't strike a match into the fuse. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> see? No, why didn't you warn me earlier, dumpling? <laughs> to do 
a strap on that. I'm sure it's not for that, did <laughs> Oh, the same. I like a road you went out to the public 
house? Well, bring Daddy's talking to you! What the devil are you shouting for? <laughs> Nothing, sir. I was just buying you a remark. Well, what's your answer? Well, you know, it was a very individual remark, you know, almost witty. What? Look, young man, if you're trying to be funny, please spare me your humour. But look, if you think I'm going to marry my daughter, marry a born liar. Not other than coming. Mary? Sultry peasant blouse. 
She looked like the bartered ride on my Lloyd's bank. <laughs>